Well after the epic down the other end, we've got the boats down there ready to be pulled onto their mooring. I've now come back up to get a bit of work done on my wreck of a boat. I mean, it was done up lovely seven years ago. The fucking weather smashed the window out of there and out of there, so I just made patterns to go up and cut two new windows out of Perspex tomorrow. And uh, the boat, that's rubbish, got a bit of a chip. All this will be repainted and resealed, the windows resealed. And inside the boat, as you can see, it's all the rubbish I've been sorting out, it's all put to the side. But um, that's the cushions from the bed. The um, hatchway here is leaking. It is now, look. And it's dripped onto there and what is all that out. So I've got to rebuild that. The um, little window there has been leaking. It looks a state, but it's the Meldew, that's what it does. It was all painted, as I say, seven years ago. It was lovely. But nobody been here, nobody loved it. We've got covered there. That's a bit of wood that comes off the bed. Got the covered there. Bits. You've got the fridge, the sink, that's a sink drainer, the sink, all electric pumps, got the cooker here, the cupboards, and keep all your cloths and stuff in here. It's all carpeted right through. But um, all the front windows are basically sound, it's that hatch you've been doing the job in. And all this is just, all this mouthiness is what you get when you leave a boat without cleaning it thoroughly so um little catches broke over there, I got a bit of who's it catches look bit of axle blade it's in there you can't see in there but it's a cupboard for rubbish and uh, whatever but uh, I think that's where my wood burning stove would be going I can't see, that's the table under there but as I say a lovely boat. Don't look very big in you know with that in there, but once the cushions are all down in place, that's a big walk in area there. And I'm actually thinking of changing this into a single bed with a head bit up there for Lira to sleep on, and that's the standing room then, so I can actually build this permanent the doorway instead of a curtain rail which is snapped down. One job now is all the electrics around all that in due time. Main thing is get her livable so I can get her down crow. Um, anyway the main object today is to um, bide me time until we've got to go down tonight and pull the other boats back on the morning. So fingers crossed, let's hope we win. Those of all anchor rope and all be tidied up and put in a bunker box on the front here when I finish. But where this whole roof was refabricated, the gel coat's lifting up around here. So all that edge needs sealing, that's where the water's getting in now. The middle's okay, it's just around that edge. So I'm scraping that out now, it ain't gonna arm anything, I've just gotta find time. But um, all the hatch is okay, all the windows are sound. There's the two windows I've gotta put in, which is um, sound as a pound. The, um, it's got a handrail on one side. I'll put aluminium through here eventually, but that's what she was designed for, but it's all warped. The other side ain't been put back on yet. But um, as I say, there's all that all along there. Yeah, yeah. All the top is all sound. There's a bit of water getting in on this one, but it all needs to be sealing. The top's all sound, all needs cleaning, painting. And the back new canvas, I'll um, make a new one sometime. But uh, this boat here, when I first started coming down here, this red one, was like brand spanking new. But where they come down, dump it down crow, use it a few times through the year and then bring it back up here, and the state is getting in. Fairline? Let's be fairline. But anyway, this hatch is leaking because it ain't been shut in right. I'm going to do that now, clean the edges and shut her down. Inside the kitchen. Go 
Chris, how you've uh, been working on her. There's your second one over. Yeah. I'll show you the outside first because um, it's been sat here for seven years, as I say, since it was done at last. And uh, I keep breaking my neck. But, um, she has so many silly leaks that have developed, nobody looking after her. So I've I've been through her now. I've uh, I've redone the front here. All want sanding down now and painting. I've resealed all the windows. I put two outside windows at the top there in. They're all totally waterproof. This morning I've resealed these and finished the back here and the rubbing strip all the way round. Now the only problem I am getting on the back, but it was an open back boat originally, so I'm not too much worried, is this tilt needs to come back and down for it to go over that corner properly. Whoever fitted that must have been a bit of a, a brain waver. So um, that's going to get fitted properly. And uh, yeah, I was stuck on here last night. So I'll, I'll climb on board and let you see. Hey, I was on there, I couldn't get off. Yeah, uh, I got to stop for a bit because my mates turned out. So. Well, there she is, she's all waterproof now. I just got a bit of sealant on the one window over the other side, a little bit of priming paintwork to do, and other than the back canvas, but it was an open boat originally, so the canvas leaking is just open boat again. So I'm winning, I'm getting there. She's, we measured her this afternoon, she's exactly 27 feet. This one here is about 31, 32. Lovely boat again. Last night the tide come in, and we'd already entered the bilge out. The tide come in last night, and there was no water come in at all. So the, uh, the hardest sound, as we guessed, sat there for seven years, she needed to be. So now, we got to get her out of there sometime and get her down the river to Crow Point. For now, back to the mate's house, nice cup of tea. We've got a uh, screw fix tomorrow, get some cigarettes. Okay, I've done some work inside, but I've been down here last couple of days putting the anti deck slipping on, anti slipping deck. It's um board made up with um sand and grit on it so it's uh like you don't slip. The other side I did the other day and uh Not nice working in this mud, but soon I'll be able to get away. But this has got to have another coat of paint. But um, leave it as long as I can and go hard on the bottom coat, obviously. But that's one side done. All I've got to do now is cut some two triangles. Two triangle plates the same as this, but to go over the front. That'll cover all the bad um, laminate stuff, what they've done. Yeah, obviously when I when I cut the triangles, they go they come from here across here and here and go in like that, go around there and then see there take the cover as much of this bad because it was still from here up and from there down and then this was put on separate but it wasn't weaved in so. Um, it's cracked up all the way along there, so we've covered that, stopped that. And as I say, we've already done the windows, <laughs> two new windows in there. These windows are made watertight for now, but they will be made bigger to cut all the rotten wood in the summer. So once I uh, get a nice day, another day now, is to water the top, because the canvas isn't, was put on wrong. It's not low enough down, and it doesn't cover the corner. So some of us do have them. There you go, I lower that down and uh, move it back so as it drops back and down 
and it'll come down there so that I saw that and the anti-step decking obviously is going to go this is a water tank and a fuel tank it'll be over the back here as well so um, whether I do that this weekend or not I'll wait and see I've got another week the hardest sound so uh, nothing wrong with the hardest one Well, on the back here, as you can see, it's all a mess still. I'm getting on with my muddy boots because it don't matter about the carpet, it'll all be being changed. But funny enough, it seems to be wearing it quite well. But um, the windows, as you know, are done. And um, I started in the cabin now. The damp is going now, gradually, every time I'm in here, I open the windows and leave the door open. But I've um, treated the front area. And water tight of it. Made a, a hat to get all the bits goes in here. It's all got to be painted again. And I made a start on the floor last night, but the one piece of board that I was putting in for the floor, I meant to paint the bottom and I painted the top of it so I couldn't do nothing last night. But now I've got to take that rotten sheet out there where the water's come down. It ain't done the worm under there because it's all fiberglass, that's the boat hull. I've got to um we do all the good damp there, and it's all dry now because I've, I've done it. But later on, sir, and then I'll finish putting this floor in. And, um, job done. I've bodged this up, need another coat of paint now. It's, um, I've cut out all the rot at the back of there. I'll show you that at a later date. But for now, I've just got one other mess. It'd be better when this is painted white. Some of this will be painted white, and then uh, there'll be a bit more light in there then. And once all these cushions are back out of the way, a bit of light will be coming in that window. So, fingers crossed, four gas bottle, pretty bizarrely. So when the time comes, I can test the cooker, and the fridge, and the fridge. They're all in good, they look pretty clean as well. So I can test them once I get um, organised. Accidentally. Yeah. Just dirty my camera accidentally so I might as well use it while it's uh, up and running. Getting there now. Well, I think it's March the 23rd and look at the weather. We're part of my van now. It's all dry. And lira has got her own little bit of lawn. Have you Lyra? You doing tumbling on the lawn? Do some tumbling. She's happy there, she was tumbling just now, I thought maybe get the camera out. But we're getting on with the boat. I've got a gas stove and I haven't run in, but um while I come back here it's just a break from the boat for a cup of tea in the van. Well, I'm having coffee today and I got used Dave's cup because I left my cup on the boat. So well of course it's day, this is March. Wonder what summer we're gonna have, we're all gonna be cooking again. Okay, this side here is all rotted out, so I've just reboarded it, and um, I'm now painting it. I'm painting the um, top in. That side, I'd dampen it, but not enough to warrant me ripping it all out again. That's the pain in the ass. It's all solid enough to be repainted. So we'll see what that's like in a minute when I paint it again. Well, I've been at it about eight days now, and um, getting most of it done. I've got to do the void here again, where the boards I put in, I made good the wood. And um, some rubbish got to be dumped, but uh, that'll go when I go home, take it. But um, we're getting there now. Inside the cabin now, it's all... <coughs> the bed's done. I'm just giving it that extra little bit of time to dry. It's all dry, but you can't give it long enough. And um, then the cushions can go back in. Next time I'm down here, I'll sew the covers on. But uh, these cushions here then can go on the back, on the seat there. All I'm left to do now is have all the ropes out and go through them all before I clear the mess up in here. And um, 
basically a little bit of painting behind there but I can't do it until the cushions are back in their bed and then all this lot got to be put away all the paint's got to go under the canopies they're out of the way curtains I'm taking home to wash um, most of that is just a bag of rags a bucket and the um, life jam back up life back I'll probably sling overboard <laughs> no I don't want it and that type of fiberglass there, but it's about a quarter full. But all this stuff then can all go in. I'm going to buy tubs at Poundland and put them in tubs and put them under the seats as well. But everything with metal must be in plastic containers to be protected from the damp. Because the bilge on these boats is wet all the time. It's never dry. You don't come into the cabin, but it's never dry. Anyway, I'm getting there. Next time I'm down, I'll bring the wood burning stove down, which will go in here. And the flue's got to come up here, across, and out from here to miss the windscreen. Let's see how that comes out. I'll show you that when it's done. But for now, it's time to clear up the mess. That's the two boards for under the seats here, which I can put back once the phones are back. Anyway, the next job's then, which isn't desperate now, is to reset this canvas around the top here so is it um, it can all drop down and be 100% um, there